In this video, we'll talk about how live text is bringing optical recognition to iOS and iPadOS without the need for a third-party app. Instead, live text brings OCR functionality right to the built-in camera app, and it can be applied to existing photos and screenshots. Hi, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. The critical component that brings live text to your device is the Apple A12 Bionic chip or newer. That's because of the processing needed for the live text feature. These are the devices capable of live text. Now let's make sure live text is turned on on the device. The feature is enabled by default in iOS and iPadOS. To locate these settings on the iPhone, you'll want to tap on settings, and then you'll want to scroll down until you come to the camera app. Tap on camera, and then just make sure that the live text toggle is turned on. On your iPad, you'll come into the settings app, You'll tap on general and you'll go to language and region and just make sure that the live text toggle switch is turned on. To use live text in the camera app, you'll need to launch the camera app on your iPhone and then point the viewfinder at something containing text until you see a yellow viewfinder rectangle appear on the screen. Once the camera app recognizes text, tap on the live text button. It looks like a little uh, viewfinder square with three lines inside. Check the bottom right corner. And when you do, the text capture will remain on the screen. And you'll see the contextual pop-up menu appears. And you can choose to select, copy, look up, translate, and share the recognized text. But the really cool feature is that you can activate some of the links in that text by pressing and holding. So if I push and hold on the phone number, you'll see that a pop-up menu appears and from inside the camera app, I can go ahead and call that number, send a message, FaceTime, um, anything that's shown on that uh, pop-up menu uh, I can use. If I come back out of that, and I push and hold on the link that's there, you'll see that the preview menu will pop up. And at this point, I can open that link. I can add, add it to my reading list. I can copy it, share it. And this is all done from inside the camera app with live text. It's easy to use the live text feature directly from the camera app to do all kinds of things with recognized text. If you're having issues, try moving the camera closer to the text. Live text should work with stylized fonts and even handwriting, though it may not always recognize characters with 100% accuracy. Let's move on to how you can use live text inside the Photos app. So go ahead and launch the Photos app on your iPad and then look for an image containing text. I've taken some screenshots. I'm going to tap on that to open. If it has recognizable text, tap on the live text button in the bottom right corner of your screen. And as you can see, all of the text in the image will be recognized. So we can do the same type of things we did in the, in the camera app. If I push and hold on the phone number, uh, a pop-up menu will appear where I can go ahead and call that number. If I tap out of that and push and hold on the web address, you'll see that I have the option to open that link all from inside of the Photos app. So you can do all the features of live text such as select, copy, translate, look up, and share items like phone numbers, email address, but they can also become live links that are activated with a long press. If you want to use live text in Safari, you can select text on a web page without doing anything special. But with live text, you can select text in images as well. 
So what you want to do is simply press and hold on any image on the web page until a context menu appears. Usually you'd see options to share, add to photos or copy. Well, now you'll see at the very bottom, you have an option that says show text. Select that option and the image will be focused and the text on that image will be highlighted. You can select the text by tapping and holding and then dragging the selection box around the text that you want. And just as in the camera app, you can choose to go ahead and share that, copy it, translate it. Um, and if it has uh, things like an email address or a web address in it, you can long press on that option. And just like in live text on the camera app, you'll be able to make a phone call from inside of an image in Safari. There are lots of use cases for live text OCR, from personal to work and more. So what are you most excited about when it comes to live text? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.